Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're taking a look into something truly exciting that's been making waves in the AI video generation world. The LTX video model, also known as LTXV, developed by Litrix. This isn't just another video generation model. It's a revolutionary tool that allows you to generate high quality videos at speeds faster than real-time playback. And get this, it can run with as little as six gigabytes of VRAM. Now, before we jump into LTX video, let's quickly touch on ComfyUI. For those new to it, ComfyUI is a powerful node-based interface for building complex AI workflows, perfect for generating images, and now with this new model, even high-quality videos. But today, our focus is on LTX video. LTX video is an open-source model, released under the Apache 2.0 license. This means you can use, modify, and distribute it freely, even for commercial purposes, which is fantastic for fostering innovation and collaboration within the community. What sets LTX video apart is its incredible speed and efficiency. We're talking about generating videos at 24 frames per second, with videos ready in as little as 30 seconds on decent hardware like an NVIDIA RTX 4090. Imagine the possibilities. This model isn't just fast, it's versatile too. It supports text-to-video, image-to-video, and even video-to-video -video transformations right out of the box. Whether you want to animate an image, bring a text prompt to life, or modify an existing video, LTX Video has you covered. I've put together all three essential workflows you'll need to start generating videos directly in ComfyUI. And, as always, I'll walk you through the setup process step-by-step, -step, making it easy for you to follow along, even if you're new to ComfyUI. I'll provide links to these workflows in the description below, along with my more advanced versions that utilize local models or the Gemini API to create video prompts for your generations. These advanced workflows will be available on my Patreon, so make sure to check that out. Plus, for my Patreon members, I'm including a one-click Windows installer that will set up everything you need to get LTX video running smoothly on your Windows device. If you haven't already, Smash that subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss out on more awesome AI content. If you're a Patreon member and opted for the one-click Windows installer and advanced workflow, things are super simple. Download the batch file from my Patreon page and run the LTX video comfyui.bat file. This will automatically download and install everything you need. ComfyUI, all the necessary custom nodes, and the LTX models all into a designated folder. Once it's done, just start ComfyUI and load the workflow I provided. This advanced workflow is designed to let you leverage open source local models through Olama and the Gemini models, including the latest Gemini 1.5 Pro API for free to automatically create video prompts. Plus, it can save your generated videos as MP4 files. By default, both the Olama and Gemini nodes are disabled. To enable them, simply right-click on the node and select Bypass. I recommend only enabling one at a time to avoid conflicts. If you have Olama installed and running, the workflow will detect it and list your downloaded models. Select your model and type your prompt in the text field above the selection. To use a Gemini model, you'll need an API key from Google AI Studio. Create a new key Copy it and open the config.json file in the Olama Gemini Custom Nodes folder within your ComfyUI directory. Paste your API key inside the quotation marks, save the file, enable the Gemini node, and select your model. Then, type your prompt in the node's text field. Both Olama and Gemini support vision capabilities. With Olama, You'll need to download a supported vision model which you can search for right on the olama.com model directory page. If you prefer not to use either, simply use the positive prompt text box. The one-click installer and advanced workflow can be found on my Patreon page, linked in the description. Now, if you're following the manual installation route, first ensure you have ComfyUI installed along with the ComfyUI Manager node, which simplifies installing other necessary nodes. If you're on Windows, 
download the Comfy UI Portable Windows zip file from the Comfy UI Releases page and extract it using a file extractor tool like 7-Zip. Once you have Comfy fully extracted, it's time to install the Comfy UI Manager. To do this, we'll simply navigate to the Custom Nodes folder inside the Comfy UI directory, type CMD in the File Explorer pathbar to open the command terminal and git clone the Comfy UI Manager repository. Next, let's download the models needed for the LTX video workflow. There are three models available, two of which allow usage on devices with as little as 4 to 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Now it's been reported that the full precision model can run on devices with 12 gigabytes VRAM and supports 720 by 1280 pixel generations, which is available on the Lytrix Hugging Face repository. However, for this tutorial, we'll use the FP8 quantized version which is much smaller and more efficient for lower VRAM devices. Head to the Symphone Hugging Face page. I'll drop the link down in the description and go to the Files and Versions tab. Download either the smaller FP8 version or the quantized mixed version, both of which worked well on my 6GB RTX 4050. Once the models have been downloaded, drag and drop the models into the Checkpoints folder in the Comfy UI Models directory. Now, Start Comfy UI and load one of the provided LTX workflows, text to video, image to video, or video to video. If you encounter any red nodes, most likely in the video to video workflow, use the Comfy UI Manager's Install Missing Nodes feature. Don't forget to download the T5 clip model by searching for Clip in the Model Manager and selecting the Comfy Anonymous FP8 Flux Text Encoder model. After the download, Restart Comfy UI via the manager's main menu. Once everything is installed, ensure the correct models are selected for each node by clicking the drop down arrows. Now the fun begins. For the image to video workflow, upload an image using the loader and enter your positive prompt. The workflow comes with some built in negative prompts defaults that seems to work pretty well, but you can always add any additional necessary prompts that you like. Then finally cue the prompt to start generating. LTX is remarkably fast even on low VRAM devices. If you experience CUDA slash CPU errors, try requeuing the prompt. This issue, likely a comfy UI bug, has already been reported and should be getting worked on by the dev team. I was able to generate a 4 second video in a minute and a half which is quite impressive to say the least in terms of video generation times. And there you have it. LTX video represents a significant leap forward, making high quality video generation accessible to users with even modest hardware. Whether you're using the advanced Patreon workflow with automated prompts or the basic manual setup, you can now create stunning videos with ease. I'm incredibly impressed with LTX video's speed and quality, and I'm excited to see what you all create with it. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more AI content, and don't forget to share your creations in the comments below. As always, links to everything mentioned are in the description. Happy generating!